Hey, Quinnen. Quinn, just uh, you know, as the season gets going here, what are what are your expectations entering this year for you? Uh, can really uh, expectations are first and foremost, man, be a leader. Um, do the things I can do on the field and off the field to help guys next to me, help the team in general in itself, man. That's the biggest expectation that I have in myself. And just go out there and uh, do what I can do 100% every single snap, man. There's expectations for this team, the expectations for this defense in general is to go out there and uh, execute uh, the plays that's being called, execute your job that's being called to the best of your ability each and every down. So. And you're obviously excited for every season, but is this one different because you were healthy all during training camp and you look around you and you have so much help uh, on the line with you? Do you have more excitement this season, maybe? Uh, playing football is exciting in itself, man. Just being able to be blessed to be uh, in New York Jet and the NFL in general is uh, super exciting. But like you said, man, being in this defense uh, second year, being on this team a second year with all the great guys, being in this organization um, uh, the fourth year, with all the great people in the organization and the great coaching staff, it's super exciting, man. All the new coming guys with the talent that we have uh, that we brought in, like Jake Martin and um, Solomon Thomas and Jermaine Johnson, the different guys we got in our own, like Sauce Gardner, a guy who we brought in who's uh, spectacular. Uh, having these guys, man, come in and willing to work, having the older guys uh, willing to work and do the things that we have to do to be the team we want to be, be is very exciting going into the season. And like you said, like me being healthy, uh, me going in and learning from Lake and Lake, uh, Lake Thompson uh, and different guys on the defensive line, like Sheldon Rankins is a great guy I learn from all the time. And um, building that relationship with each and individual uh, in the defense room and in the offensive room. So uh, in the offseason, it's very exciting for this season. So. Quentin, I like your shirt. Can you uh, tell us a little uh, bit you. about it? <laughs> Uh, my favorite character is like Iron Man. So this company had made me like a, I guess like a New York Iron Iron Man shirt. So it's like got a picture of me in the Iron Man suit. <laughs> uh -huh. So it was super dope, man. That uh, company had did for me that I like really much. So I'm wearing it a lot. So you gonna market that? Uh, I hope so. It's one of those things that's super dope, man. I'm just enjoying the the blessing, the ability to somebody to to do this for me, man. So. Quinn, what's um, what's the challenge like of facing Lamar Jackson? Uh, Lamar Jackson, everybody knows, is an amazing football player, man. Uh, electric football player since college, man, and the uh, challenge in itself, man. But I feel like we had a team in the defense to uh, to do what we have to do. If we go out there and do what we have to do 100% and execute 100%, it's going to fall in our favor to do what we have to do so. Quinn, what's it like for you? You know, you were so young when you were drafted here, right? Mm -hmm. And then do you look up at one moment and say, oh, wow, I'm, I'm, I'm a veteran now? Or does, does that happen? Do you look around the room and say, like, see, there's a lot of younger guys than you? Uh, it's really not that many younger guys than me. Because Jermaine <laughs> Johnson like 23, Mike is like 25. So it's like – and I'm around that same age as everybody else. So I definitely look up and be like, man, this is one of my fourth year, man. But um, I also look at it uh, as a way like um, I'm still young and learning also, man. But I've, I've learned a lot throughout this time, man, I, and I can share the things that I've learned, especially off the field as a younger guy uh, to the younger the younger guys on the team and different stuff like that on the field, off the field itself, man. It's just I'm still learning and I'm teaching at the same time, man. So it's one of those things like I really don't look at age or look at different stuff like that when it comes down to being a veteran or not a veteran and stuff like that. Um, being an experienced guy, definitely I'm experienced going in my fourth year. But looking at age as being a vet or not a vet is like, I don't really look at it. So, how about the this difference, Quinn, going into this year versus last year, just knowing the defense, um, the second year in the system? How much of a difference is that for you? It was a huge difference, man. You could, you know, when to take your shots, you know, when you can't take your shot, you can go in depth on different things. Like, I know what a linebacker is going to be at now. I can study different positions that I couldn't study last year because I was trying to learn my position and how to do my position at a high level that now I'm going in this second year. Um, you can really focus on and home in on the small details that help you be a better football player and also the small details that help your teammates be a better football player. Like, instead of last year, I was probably learning one position, but now it's like, I know my position. I know what to do. Let me learn the linebacker position. Let me learn the cornerback position. Let me know what a whole defense is going to feel at, and it helps me know that what I can do, different things I can do when it comes down to schemes like man or zone and different stuff like that. So... 
Quinn, and this is your fourth year, as as we discussed already, and you haven't had a, a lot of wins in three years. How has that affected you, and how does that motivate you? Uh, it motivates me a lot. It hasn't affected me none too much, man, but it motivates me a lot because I see how how hard the coaching staff work. I see how hard we work and how close we have to get, I mean, how close we are to having that winning season, that winning goal that we all want to do. Everybody play this game to win. Nobody plays this game to lose. So um, to see how hard we work at practice, to see the little things that we have to do to get that win each and every week and be consistent uh, to keep winning week, week in and way out, bro. It's like um, every single year is like we're that close. We need that piece. We need that puzzle. We need that to be there. And I feel like this year we got everything we need to be the team that we want to be and the team that New York wanted us to be. Uh, and we just got to go be consistent and put it all on tape and put it all on the field. So, Quinn, I know obviously winning is the most important thing. Have you been happy, though, with your overall play? I mean, it looks like you've gotten better each year. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure, you know, you have bigger goals for yourself. Uh, I, I definitely have big goals for myself. And I feel like I'm I'm taking a step on um, to get where I want to be in this league, especially being an NFL football player and leaving leaving my legacy. I'm, de- I'm definitely taking a step. I'm not where I want to be. I'm still learning. I'm still um, growing as an athlete, still trying to do what I uh, need to do. But I feel like I have gained some type of uh, – some type of confidence, uh, especially year after year, um, being in this scheme, being in this organization, being in the NFL, getting experience and getting experience and just in the offseason learning from different guys like Von Miller and Fletcher Cox, Aaron Donna and Chris Jones and Bomberitos, stuff like that, um, that I learned from to get better and better each and every year. So definitely feel like I'm going to where I want to get to. You were with all those guys at Bomberitos? Uh, no, I wasn't with those guys. I'm just saying, like, learning from tape and okay, different tape. things like that, like watching film and stuff like that with these guys. 